What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D. So, eat back at another video. Hey, look, check me out, y'all. <laughs> hey, I hope y'all like the intro, man. Look, like I said, I'm gonna keep improving, keep trying different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all like the little transitions that I um, implemented in this one. So, but look. Like I said, that I'm, these videos are going to keep better and better, man. Like I said, these build videos, we got them coming out. Um, this one was literally not even planned, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I actually made this build while trying to help my boy Skinny make a build. And I ended up making it and using it for myself. So, it's actually pretty good. Um, I call it Raijin. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because it mainly focuses on lightning, but it uses water also and purity. So, you already know how I feel about that. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I already did the uh, showcase, so now I'm about to go ahead and go through the build breakdown, and then you know, what I'm saying that'll be it. You know, what I'm saying simple. So we're using six piece uh, Golden Boy and five piece uh, Warrior of the West. Now I'm using them mainly for the uh, five piece and the six piece bonus. Five piece bonus on the Warrior of the West is 15% melee damage versus electrified enemies. Five six piece bonus of the, uh, the Golden Boy is melee damage versus electrified enemies 20%. So we got 35% from there. And then um, we got an extra, di we got an additional four percent coming from our uh, four piece bonus from the Warrior of the West. So we're sitting at thirty nine percent when the enemy is electrified. And then some of the passives that I got for the dual swords, along with some of my soul cores, give us a lot of uh, melee damage. So you know, what I'm saying this build is pretty spicy, bro. It's pretty spicy. So y'all, y'all, already, already know I'm a big fan of purity, huge fan of purity. Um, Attack bonus hard, final blow damage, life drain, melee attack, all that good stuff. Shock accumulation just because my magic isn't that high with this build because I had to put a lot of points of stamina. So I tried to put the shock accumulation to help my um, lightning get applied a little bit faster. And I got break. Um, like I said, purity, you already know how I feel about purity. Uh, shadow, shadow, shadow sword key damage just because like I said, I feel like the sword is an amazing weapon to destroy key. Um, attack bonus attack bonus skill, final blow damage. Um, Melee key damage, life training, melee attack. Um, I just have this one here, the Warrior of the West Bow, in the main slot just because it has damage bonus agility. Um, when I really want to do big damage, as y'all seen in some of the clips, I use the uh, Master's Archers, Master Archer's Bow. Um, and I got Windstorm damage key, Untouched Omnio. Um, untouched Omnio. Untouched Omnio. Sorry, y'all, my bad. Omnio magic power, attack, life, the usuals. And I put two double headed slices just because I have, I actually have the lightning imbuement for the double headed slice just because double headed slice is great at applying status um and like i said same stuff for my other build nothing too crazy yasakani's like i said i got shock accumulation because like i said i'm trying to apply that lightning as fast as i can to get that big damage buff um saturation accumulation just because water is, a, is our secondary element that we use with this build primarily so like i said i try to get that as much as i can life recovery and reabsorption on both of these so we get a lot of life recovery especially when we use the dual swords i'm using steel rejuvenation extraction uh lightning purification archeo kyle water eagle eye water amulet quick change just because i just do it in there just because to be honest i really don't ever die with this build um, I know it's kind of funny as y'all seen the clip where I did die, but that was because of user and not because um, I got killed. Um, and then Barry, just because I didn't have another, nothing else put there. Uh, you already know Tengen until we get something better. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do big damage. I really don't care about nothing else outside of that. Um, we got Ryumin. You know what I'm saying? Ryumin is probably going to be a staple. Ryumin and Yamlu yeah, will probably gonna be my two staples from here on out. Um, just because of the Omnio, the animal bonus on the Omnio Magic Kit and the animal bonus enemy confused, it just synergizes so well and gives us crazy amounts of anima game. You already know Gayuki, we mainly got him for the 12% uh, melee damage versus saturated enemies. Go to the stats. As y'all can see, 20 points of constitution, 99 in heart and skill. 30 in courage, 40 in stamina, and 40 in magic. Like I said, magic is going to be in every build that I do from this point out. I absolutely love magic with the Shikigamis and the buzz. It's so much fun to play. If y'all do co-op me with me, y'all already know I'm throwing the Shikigami bombs out like crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna throw that out there. Uh, so like I said, the stats are pretty good. The key recovery is amazing with this build um, as opposed to my uh, avatar build, um, top notch. So I'm gonna show y'all the status screen real quick. 
as y'all can see, we got a bunch of a bunch of different statues. Feel me? It's kind of crazy. But I'm I'm just only going to point out a key points. Uh, melee damage versus electrified enemies 35. Melee damage versus saturated enemies 12. You know, melee damage 4%. Um, double headed slice 19%. Windstorm damage 29.6. Saturation accumulation 12.9. Shock uh, 28.8. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is just, yeah, like I said, they pretty much copy and paste it from my last build, to be honest. Um, and the Avatar build has gotten crazier. Um, I did want to just throw that out there. The Avatar build has gotten... <sighs> it's reached ridiculous levels, and that's kind of where this inspiration came from. Let me show you my custom active skills real quick. Um, Sword of Execution, you already know, Morning Moons gets my skill. Um, Shadow Sword gets my masterful cycle. Like I said, I use Shadow Sword to destroy key and it just does its thing. Night Rain, I love Night Rain, Reckless Slice. It's probably one of my favorite sword skills next to these three right here are the main skills you'll see me use if you ever see me using my katana. These three skills right here. Um, sword key, you already know what it is with sword key. Um, like I said, that's just kind of there. Kick, I like kick. But I really mainly use high stance when I use sword, and I use all these three skills right here. If I'm in high stance, if I'm using my katana, I'm using one of these three skills right here. Uh, dual sword, I got firm resolve. You already know. Uh, cherry blossom gets my stamina. Uh, Sign of the cross gets my skill. Heart. Um, I don't have the actual move rising because it's actually trash. Um, sorry to disappoint. Uh, <laughs> God of wind. Masterful Slice because it destroys key and that's pretty much it with that. Oh, and then double headed slice. Like I said, I got the lightning demon on that one. Uh, let me see. I think that's about it, y'all. Clan, you already know who I'm using for my clan. Um, so yeah. Like I said, y'all, that's that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these build videos short and simple, bro. I'm not finna, I'm not finna drag them on. I kind of wanted to do an upgraded dual sword build just because my last dual sword build it was really good, but this one is a lot, lot stronger. And I do want to, I do want to show y'all the up, the updated avatar build, avatar D is what we call it. All right, y'all. So look, like I said, this is the updated avatar avatar build right here. Um, so I did switch it up a little bit. So as y'all can see, I went with the four piece warrior of the west for the five piece bonus and that's actually where the build the dual sword the raijin build came from was actually from this because i still kind of wanted to incorporate magic in you know what i'm saying this it is spicy you feel me super mixed spice um and i did add a couple things to it i added anima on the helmet because you can actually get anima on the on medium helmets and light helmets you can't get them on heavy heavy helmets from what I've seen and you can't I, I think you can only get them from forging or if you just find them in the wild somewhere I could be wrong y'all let me know in the comment section down below but I got untouched Omnio on everything now on everything now so we said that about 35 percent I just yeah where we at, where we at? let me see 36 my bad y'all 36 so look i'm gonna do quick little showcase quick little showcase just to show y'all how much stronger this build has got has gotten since i put it out uh two weeks ago So like I said, y'all, that's new. That's the updated avatar build. Look, I hope y'all enjoyed these videos, man. Like I said, 
I got some more videos coming up. Y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is going to be nice. I know y'all going to love it. Like I said, up next, we got the Switch Glade build coming up. Hey, that's going to be a, a super dope video, man. I, I can't wait to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what we got uh, what we got in the works. But look, it's been your boy, Diesel Wink. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be safe and step out the way.